Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with AirBreeviews.com. Today I'm going to be unboxing this 36 piece toolkit from Belkin. I ordered this off Amazon for um, $24 uh, roughly. Um, I'm going to be unboxing this and showing you one other thing which is the uh, this power supply tester right here. It doesn't have a brand on it but I also picked that up on Amazon for about $14, um, $14 or $15. And I'll put the links down in the description to both. Um, if you repair computers, build computers, um, or upgrade them. So this is just uh, in a cardboard thing. Um, we'll go over the box here. It is demagnetized for computers, um, so you don't erase hard drives or whatever. But um, the place I intern, we actually use magnetized uh, screwdrivers, and uh, that big of a magnet is not big enough to affect a hard drive or any part of a computer and it actually makes it easier because you don't drop uh, screws in there so I probably will end up magnetizing these uh, screwdrivers but it has a 15 pit, uh, fifteen piece bit and socket set um, T8, T10, T15, T20, T25 um, 5 standard sockets, uh, 3 sixteenths, 1 fourth, 5 sixteenths, 11 30 seconds and 3 eighths um, four screwdriver bits. There's a flat five and six millimeter and a Phillips number one and number two, and one screwdriver to socket adapter bit. Um, nine piece Allen wrench set. I'm not gonna read all those, but you can pause it and look at those if you want. Um, so there's those Allen wrenches right there. Um, there's spare parts containers. Um, twelve screws, six washers, and six jumpers. Anti-static uh, wrist strap zip carrying case which is this three-way rat ratchet driver um, mini combination screwdriver with pocket clip tweezers needle nose pliers three prong parts retriever six inch number one Phillips bit extension uh, chip extractor which isn't used that often wire strippers and cutters and it does have a lifetime warranty uh, any defects you get for your replacement so we're going to go ahead and open this up here and show you what's inside you can hear it all moving around in there sorry my desk is messy I had some stuff sitting on it and can't find the Windex to clean it but in here you have all your stuff and um, some of it's sealed in plastic, some of it is not. Right here, um, in this little part, you have your screwdriver. Just a standard screwdriver, which it looks like it um, is a ratcheting screwdriver. And there's the selector for that right there. If you put it in the middle, it locks it. Um, so there's that. Right here we have your anti-static uh, rear strap. The bag's kind of uh, weird and faded or something like that. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but you attach this to um, something else besides the computer you can attach to the case of the computer and you wear you wear this around your wrist um, that side towards your wrist so the metal touches it and then you just um, snap that right there um, over here we have your your allen key set and the different sizes and they come on this uh, little ring here that's easy to spread apart if you need to remove them to use them I'm going to actually try to put some of this stuff back as I go so I don't have to figure out um, where it all goes um, so those go right there this goes in the middle and uh, these this goes right here um, I don't know how easy it will be to keep it in there when it's not in the bag. Right here you have your screwdriver uh, tips. So 
sometimes they're a little hard to get back in these elastic things uh, especially the more pointy objects right here you have your bits for your um, socket which I think is part of the screwdriver I think um, it goes on the uh, end here no. um, This thing on oh, it goes right here. Uh, there is a adapter in the uh, socket or the tips for the screwdriver, and it goes on there. So that's pretty cool. That just goes right back in here. And then this is your extra parts container. Um, they they have letters on them. I don't know exactly what the letters mean, but um, you have some extra extra Phillips head screws in there. You have um, some extra jumpers right there. Some extra uh, uh, Phillips head screws with the little a little thing around it. I don't know exactly what they're called. And then you have your washers right here, and then this side is empty. So that comes in handy. Right here you're, you have a um, Belkin branded screwdriver. I guess if you don't want to use this, you have your Phillips, or you have your flathead, and you have... Dropping it on the desk, uh, you have your Phillips and you have your flathead on the other side. So that just goes right here. Over here you have your tweezers, which have this little thing on them to keep them together. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take that off because I already know it's going to get lost uh, eventually. Right here you have, um, looks like a chip puller. So you just let go of it and it pulls it back up. And right here you have your um, extremely long Phillips head extension for your screwdriver. Um, I'm assuming that was the chip puller. I think these are just a bigger set of tweezers. Um, these are... Pr um, actually, this may be... The chip extractor. The other one was a three prong, three prong part retriever. Um, that's what the other thing was. So that is the chip puller. Right here you have your wire strippers. I'm not going to take those out right now. Um, but you have have those right there. And then in this little plastic thing, you have your um, needle nose pliers. They don't have the best uh, spring on them, but $15 or $25, all this stuff, um, I'd say is a pretty good deal. Especially since you'll be, you know, it'll be light use just doing computer stuff, stuff like that. Um, but that is that. Like I said, it does have a lifetime warranty, so I guess if any of it falls apart, you can um, get it replaced. This feels kind of um, cheap, to be honest, but it probably will do the job just fine. Um, the only thing is, with all with this uh, wire in here, it's kind of hard to wrap it back up. But what I'm going to do is just clip it right in there and tuck that up there and throw the screwdriver back where it was and that is the Belkin 36 piece toolkit this is the power supply tester right here sorry my camera um, stopped at 10 minutes because it's on eco mode 
but the power supply tester you just plug your um, 20 20 or 24 pin in right there you can do 8 pin or 4 pin right here um, has a little diagram right there and uh, 6 pin right there uh, that's for floppy if you ever still use that or need to test the power supply that has that you have your Molex right here you have your SATA right there and that's what the lights right here are for that's for the Molex and the SATA you can only do one at a time on those because um, they use the same set of lights then this will display the voltages and stuff for each uh, different power rail on this. Um, that's what the screen displays. These lights are for the peripherals. Um, these pins and the SATA and the Molex. So it was like $15 on Amazon. Pretty good deal. Um, we'll see how it works. But I'm going to keep it in my uh, kit and use that at my internship. Um, just so I have my tools kind of that I have at home and it works. work. But those are the two things I bought um, for a computer repair and upgrades. This has been ConnellThyropReviews.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.